Hello me and for some reason anyone else is watching it, hello to you too, I've been a keep up fan since 2010 and I'm doing this video just for fun, sometimes I'm a grandma, I'm 6 and I have probably expressed myself, so I don't know how this video is going to end us. So, and team is having their first comeback and I'm super 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 excited, like I said like normally I, I'm far away from the J-pop scene, <laughs> like it's been years since I've least listened anything from Japan. Uh, even my J-Rock that I, I love and miss, but I don't, I barely have time to keep up with K-pop. <laughs> even for I want to go back to J-Rock. Uh, but since it's um, hype, it's more easy to be, how do you say it, uh, reachable. Because even if it's... Uh, hype Japan, it they still follow m more of the Korean ideas of the business side, like putting more content on YouTube and being more available internationally. Uh, because Japan is very, very, very strict with its copyright, uh, so. If you don't know, even for Japanese groups having MVs on YouTube, it was like hard. Or if there was any, it was like a minute and a half. That's was kind of promotional video. And mostly you also will see it at the end of TV shows or uh, programs. And you have more, the full version of the MV most of the time was on the CD. Or sometimes on the how do you call it again TV shows, but I think with the years they started to put more full content. But again, I know it's going to be long, and I know they are fans who wanted to have specific performances on their uh, Endgame channel or on Hype channel, but that's going to be impossible. Why? Because of Japanese copyright system. If it's like some festival that is overseas, like you can totally find official, uh, you know, performances, maybe even put them on the YouTube channel. But if it's from a TV show, I mean, from a variety show or a TV program, that's going to be very hard to put it on YouTube, again, because of copyright. That's how Japanese system works. I know most of uh, people got used to how the Korean system works. Uh, for example, they have the Korean broadcasters. They put their official performance on YouTube. That's not how it's going to Japan. You're not going to have them on YouTube. Again, copyright is very, very, very strict in Japan. So having those performances on YouTube is going to be very hard. Even from um, some concerts in Japan, again, it wasn't going to... It will not be easy to put that content on YouTube or those performances. Again, different country, different laws. If Hype getting permission from those TV shows, maybe, but I don't think that's going to happen very, uh, how do you say it, very much or at all. Maybe in the future, yes, but for now, if you have complaint, complain to the Japanese <laughs> government or something like that. Again, they are very, very strict with their copyright. So again, I know it was along an unnecessary talk but I hope that some fans have more understanding why some performances from uh, and team would never be on YouTube officially because again copyright system I saw the teasers and I've only wanted to not be 
every boy is in love with the same girl, be again having that harem story, uh, and uh, <laughs> I hope it's not like that. I don't like this type of stories with uh, multiple people in love with the same person. Maybe because. <sighs> I'm tired of it. I saw a lot of animes. I played of Tome games, and I'm tired of that. Uh, how do you say it? No idea. Trope. So let's go. Uh, I, my precious time. Ooh, the song is already so retro. <laughs> like bye bye. <laughs> I don't understand why Pack is having that stuff in his head. That Maki who's the one who's flying. <laughs> I have a lot of confusion about the story of DMV. Oh, I love so much the song. Oh. It doesn't look like a friendly fight. <laughs> they look very angry. Shot, but you see it less like such a catchy sound. Is she like the hunter? Okay, we have more info. Oh. That's it? So his eyes? I'm pretty sure his eyes was golden, no? <laughs> okay, first thing 
first the song it's amazing 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 it has a tiny bit of 80s vibes and i've said it before and i will really say it i love 80s music uh, and if it's a song that it has a tiny bit of that retro sound i'm going to love it <laughs> immediately uh, and i really 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 love the song but not the mv so the girl is special to the boys but i hope it's not every boy it's romantically interested in the girl <laughs> because i again i said it i not a fan of the harem troop but and in this case she looked like she was the hunter after the wolves which are the boys and also i was wondering if they go into the same route as in Hypen, because in in a Hypen we also have the girl that I never forgot her name, uh, remember her name, uh, and she is a important part of their story. I don't read the webtoons, okay? So I have no idea on that part of the lore. So since N team is considered the other half of and hypons lore wise are they using again the same trope that the girl is special to all the boys like in, in hypon we have a tiny idea who the girl was but then in end uh and team for now we there's no info who the girl is for me if he, uh, she appears in the webtoon i have no idea did we have a webtoon webtoon i'm pretty sure they have a webtoon uh so that's part of the information that i don't know but again uh, was she a hunter and now they are friends or they are friends from the start and after that the girl becomes a hunter the hunter and also the, in this um, uh, I don't know the relationship goes like I who would you you see him talking yeah especially on the teasers like Uiju was very uh, talkative and maybe showing his appreciation for the girl uh also fuma somehow was a weird tension also there like maybe he also like the girl but somehow he could see ages going after a girl but maybe fuma wasn't also going straight forward maybe thinking of to both of them and then Eiju and yuma were fighting why something to um, i think something happens to the girl and maybe some of those someone from the group is maybe the one that it's the other she has guilty that something happened to the girl um tack is having that weird stuff in his head i was thinking uh, maybe he's the leader <laughs> i don't think so like I, mean, I don't know but it looks like he has a uh how do you call it special position that's why he's having that wolf skin on his head and maki he is just flying like what's going on and then in the end everyone is on the beach sleeping and the girl just goes into the distance and he sees k and k appears with 
his golden eyes. So it's that when the girl saw the knew that they are werewolves or is just ah she already knew and also there were seeing like fireworks but also it looks like gunshots for example on nicola's part like what's going on on the mv what's going on i'm lost my opinion something happens to the girl uh, maybe they started to hunt them and one of the members retaliates against her and the others are like, why? Like, I have no idea. <sighs> Too much info. So, I'm going to read the lyrics. Let's see if that happens. And it's still the same day <laughs> that I had to get changed. I wonder if... My sweet shirt was already dirty when I recorded it the first part. So, the lyrics. Okay, I, it's again. You are my. Just wanted to spend time with uh, the other person. And having those feelings, feeling like fireworks, uh, and also feeling like this is was meant to be you and that person, and just feeling happy to be with the other person. Maybe the person is so precious to you that you don't. Uh, you feel anxious a tiny bit. That's how I check the lyrics. Also, fun fact. Fireworks in Japanese is hanabi. And in hana, it's flower. It's coming... Uh, something like fire flowers. And I always thought that... Uh, how the Japanese interpret, interpreted interpreted oh my god i can't I can pronounce it interpret it ah, i don't care the word was beautiful hanabi the fireworks looks like you see those specks of light blooming into the sky let's watch the mv again because i'm confused can you imagine like Ten people just in three bunk beds. <laughs> and a, a bunk bed and a normal bed. She's have a shotgun on the back. That's that's a shotgun. <laughs> All of them are on PGs. So is she going after them? Is this a game or is she really hunting them? Or she's the boss? And again, the colors are changing because it's sunny or cloudy or sunny or cloudy. So, and I'm not going to change that in post because. Whew. I love the scenes. So, Taki's looking at the flower and Maki's ahead! <laughs> and Joe is just there. Uh, 
<sighs> but they're looking very sad. <laughs> oh no, that's Harwa. I think it's Harwa. What the hell I thought is Joe? Is it oh, like a metaphor of going away but don't want it to leave the other person? And what's that in his head? is long gone but that's in a dream but when he wake up it everything was crumbling like oh, when you see he is falling like in reality it's not that pretty as the the dream is it something that it happened only in the dream world it's something that happened in the past or in the past past do i make sense it's something that happened in the past and i do you remember or it's just a recent past do i make sense i don't think so i feel, I feel sorry for taki we thought in his head <laughs> is is there a child game that you you are the wolf maybe he's feeling guilty maybe he's the leader maybe it's <sighs> my god i don't know thanks a lot it's like the firework Okay, it's like after it's like that was he saw in his dream when he's falling asleep he has that stuff in his head but i don't think in, in the real world he's having that because he looks like he's falling asleep and maybe only Haro is the only one who can see it You must sneaking looking at the what he recorded. What according to the uh, pa, 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 the teasers, but you choose the one with the camera. <sighs> oh my god, I I am. Look how angry they are when they're playing the rugby, or I think it's something like rugby. <laughs> like in their mud, but we have that contrast with them being free in the field and happy and colorful. And now maybe the girl has changed the dynamics of how the boys are behaving in the group. That's how it looks like. The bridge is just so amazing. I mean, the song is so great. Nicola 
this is just like I think he's he is persecuted persecuted he is like shot at him two times shot I think more metaphorically that in the real sense The firework. That song must be so uncomfortable. <laughs> so, are they talking about fate also? I can say that we meet. Is it implied that they knew the, the girl knew them before? The story of werewolves. Oh my god, I'm so confused. His eyes are gold, right? I don't see him wrong. And she the blood moon. Again, I'm curious about the story, but at the same time, I'm it's not not that interested in the seeing eight boys, nine boys, going after only one girl. <laughs> not my style of story, uh, but I'm still curious about how the story is going to move forward and. I still don't know what the beats like. Um, I mean, what's about? Again, the song is beautiful. I, I, I love it. It has a tiny bit of retro sound, which that's my weakness. And the MV, I'm still. I think the dynamics between the boys has changed when the girl was introduced into the group. But it's the girl made this between the boys intentionally. That's what I'm curious about. Again, I didn't read the webtoon, so there's a lot of info that I'm missing. Questions, 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 questions. My brain is not working anymore. I have... He... he doesn't make any more connections so that's it if anyone watched the thing thank you thank you very much and bye bye